a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Nadia Murad Nadia Murad Basita is an Iraqi Yazidi human rights activist who lives in Germany. In 2014 she was kidnapped from her hometown Kojo and held by the Islamic State for three months. In 2018, she and Dennis Mukwege were jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts to end the use of sexual violence as a weapon of war and armed conflict. She is the first Iraqi to be awarded a Nobel Prize. Murad is the founder of Nadia's Initiative, an organization dedicated to helping women and children victimized by genocide, mass atrocities, and human trafficking to heal and rebuild their lives and communities. Early Life and Capture by ISIS Murad was born in the village of Kojo in Sinjar district, Iraq. Her family, of the Yazidi ethno-religious minority, were farmers. At the age of 19, Murad was a student living in the village of Kojo in Sinjar, northern Iraq when Islamic State fighters rounded up the Yazidi community in the village killing 600 people including six of Nadia's brothers and stepbrothers and taking the younger women into slavery. That year, Murad was one of more than 6,700 Yazidi women taken prisoner by Islamic State in Iraq. She was captured on 15 September 2014. She was held as a slave in the city of Mosul, and beaten, burned with cigarettes, and raped when trying to escape. Nadia was able to escape after her captor left the house unlocked. Murad was taken in by a neighboring family, who were able to smuggle her out of the Islamic State-controlled area, allowing her to make her way to a refugee camp in Duhok, northern Iraq. She was out of ISIS territory on early September 2014 or in November 2014. In February 2015, she gave her first testimony to reporters of the Belgian daily newspaper La Libre Belgique while she was staying in the Rwanda camp, living in a container. In 2015, she was one of 1,000 women and children to benefit from a refugee program of the government of Baden-Württemberg, which became her new home career and activism. On 16 December 2015, Murad briefed the United Nations Security Council on the issue of human trafficking and conflict. This was the first time the council was ever briefed on human trafficking. As part of her role as an ambassador, Murad will participate in global and local advocacy initiatives to bring awareness of human trafficking and refugees. Murad reached out to refugee and survivor communities listening to testimonies of victims of trafficking and genocide. As of September 2016, attorney Amal Clooney spoke before the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime to discuss the decision that she had made in June 2016 to represent Murad as a client in legal action against Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant commanders. Clooney characterized the genocide, rape, and trafficking by Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant as a bureaucracy of evil on an industrial scale, describing it as a slave market existing both online, on Facebook and in the Mideast that is still active today. Murad has received serious threats to her safety as a result of her work. In September 2016, Murad announced Nadia's initiative at an event hosted by Tina Brown in New York City. The initiative will provide advocacy and assistance to victims of genocide. That same month she was named the first Goodwill Ambassador for the Dignity of Survivors of Human Trafficking of the United Nations. On 3 May 2017, Murad met Pope Francis and Archbishop Gallagher in the Vatican City. During the meeting she asked for helping Yazidis who are still in ISIS captivity, 
acknowledged the Vatican's support for minorities, discussed the scope for an autonomous region for minorities in Iraq, highlighted the current situation and challenges facing religious minorities in Iraq and Syria particularly the victims, and internally displaced people as well as immigrants. Murad's memoir, The Last Girl, My Story of Captivity, and My Fight Against the Islamic State, was published by Crown Publishing Group on 7 November 2017. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?